Hey everybody, I am just so excited. I wanted to interview my friend Amber Taylor real quick just because I am just so inspired by her. I wanted um, some people, some people have been asking about her story and those, the people that know her just have um, been able to see her transformation. And so I wanted to kind of hear from her, from her mouth, what's been going on and just such amazing, amazing transformation. So Amber, would you be so kind to tell us a little bit about what's been going on with you? Sure, I'd love to. Thanks, Shan. You're so sweet. Um, so, so I, I've been on this health journey for about 12 weeks, and I've lost 29 pounds. And um, amazing, <laughs> incredible, and about that many inches as well. Um, but you know what? I, I just my self confidence has just skyrocketed. Um, my energy and motivation has gone up so much and I, I don't need an afternoon nap anymore. I don't, I, I feel like I have a lot more patience with my, with my kids and, um, just a lot more excitement about my everyday life. And I'm just super excited to share it with everybody because I know that I'm not the only one who has ever felt kind of like they were stuck sort of. And, and um, that's kind of how I, I was feeling before, before I started this journey. Oh. Tell us a little bit more about kind of um, some things that have led up to this decision to kind of make this big health transformation. Okay. Um, so I have had, I've struggled with eating disorders um, when, I, when, I was, when I was about nine years old. My mom remarried and... Um, her second husband was abusive, both sexually and emotionally, especially to me, kind of targeted me. And, you know, as a way to kind of fight back, I, I started starving myself. And, um, and that, that went on through high school. Um, and, and then as I, you know, I, I had a couple other really hard things happened when I was in high school. My mom got really sick when I was about 16 years old. And, um, you know, nobody could, for a while, nobody could find out what was wrong with her. The doctors couldn't figure it out. We, they thought maybe it was cancer. Um, and I was worried about her dying. And she, eventually she, it was, di she was diagnosed with lupus, which is a serious chronic illness. And, um, you know, just seeing my mom sick is, has been really hard for me and stressful. Um, a couple months after that, my dad committed, committed suicide and, um, you know, I felt like it was all my fault at that point in my life. And it was just, it was so hard for me that I couldn't really deal with it at that time. I just kind of buried it. Um, and I buried it along with the abuse that had happened to me earlier in my life. Um, just kind of swept it all under the rug and, and, um didn't deal with those things for a while, a, a long time. And then, you know, I finally, I finally married my dream, my dream man. And we started living our happily ever after and had my first baby. And about six months after, you know, I, I felt like I should be feeling better. I should be um, back on my feet. And I just wasn't, I was exhausted all the time. And I, I was so, I didn't feel depressed inside. I, I just felt just completely exhausted all the time. Um, I was diagnosed with Hashimoto's thyroiditis or Graves disease. And um, just fatigue became a part of my life. And um, as we added to our family, our second baby was about three weeks old when we moved across the country for, my hus for schooling for my husband. And um, I... I had been diagnosed with depression after my dad's death, and um, and then when we moved, when my husband and I moved across the country, um, is when I was I had my first major anxiety attack, mm -hmm. and you know those things, those things just kind of made me feel broken inside, and a way that I chose, the way that I found to comfort myself and to kind of cope was food. I turned to food. Yeah it quickly became an addiction. And so, you know, earlier, earlier in my life, I, I had starved myself. Now I was compulsive eating and binge eating. Wow. And, 
um, you know, that kind of, that has carried on throughout my adult years. And I just reached a point where I was done. I was done with the Band-Aid solutions. I was, you know, um, about seven years ago, all of that, all of that bottled up um, garbage from my past just kind of erupted and I had to deal with it at that time. Um, I was in two and a half years of therapy with an amazing counselor. And um, because, of, because of the Savior, really, because of his atonement, I have been able to heal. And, um, and I just want to be done with, I wanted to be done with those unhealthy habits that were kind of controlling my life. Um, Absolutely. Um, that, thank you so much for sharing so many of those details. And I know so many people that are even watching this and even that you've been able to touch you know, I've been through similar situations that can identify with that. So I know that you're not alone in that, but yet you have such a unique journey that have kind of, that's kind of prepared you for the position that you're in right now. Um, one question I had was, what do you feel like, you know, getting to kind of rock bottom at that time that you kind of mentioned um, and, and really saying, to, really committing that, you know, you didn't want to live like that anymore. When you made that commitment, what do you feel like was, was the the change that you've seen from so from now until that point what has helped you to be able to to get to where you want to be um really it's this philosophy can i share a quote with you yeah Is that okay with you um well there's there's a couple different quotes that really express how I feel. Um, the first one is called Mar is by Marianne Williamson, and it says, our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. You are, we are all meant to shine as children do. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It's not just in some of us, it's in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to, to do the same. As we are liberated from our fear, our presence automatically liberates others. And you know what? I felt captivated. And I don't feel that way anymore. And I know that there are other people who feel captivated, who feel um, who feel stuck and, and who want to also be, be liberated and, and also, um, want to let their light shine mm -hmm. and want to, um, to reach their full potential and, and need a, a vehicle to get there. Wow. So what has been your vehicle in getting there and kind of like how, tell us an update on, you know, you, you mentioned like how you've been, have you lost all the weight in the inches? Kind of give us a little information about that. Um, so I eat six small meals a day. Um, five of them are, are medically formulated meal replacements that have just the right protein and carb balance to get my body, to keep my body into fat burn. But what's really amazing is that I don't have those cravings and that, that I was struggling with every day. I don't crave junk food and soda like I was. Um, and I feel like, I feel like my, my metabolism has just gone through the roof. I have so much more energy. Um, and, and I also cook a very healthy meal for my family for dinner. They don't always love it, but at least I'm, I'm giving them something that's really healthy that I feel good about. Absolutely. How has, the, how has your mind, like the educational side, kind of helped you to be able to be successful and be where you are today? So I've learned so much about mindfulness, about really thinking about my actions instead of just being acted upon. I feel like I um, am I'm really making choices now that are healthy for my body, my mind, and my finances. Awesome. It really helps me to feel like I'm more in control of my life. For sure. For sure. And um, I know recently you have actually decided to help other people and how you've, you've really found such um, success with yourself and you're feeling so good. Tell me more about that. You know, what just really excites me about being a health coach is that maybe this is a way that I can advocate for survivors of abuse, for the survivors of, of people who have had loved ones who have committed suicide. 
um, for people who are struggling with eating disorders or have loved ones that are struggling with eating disorders and for people who are struggling with mental illness and or have loved ones that are struggling with those things. I just feel like that's my main purpose is to advocate. Amazing. Amazing. I absolutely am just so inspired by you. I always have been. And it's been so fun to see your transformation and your journey, just being a part of that. Thank you so much. Do you, do you have anything else you want to share? I have one more quote that I love. Okay, so this is by Walter Gonzalez, and he says, Thanks to him, wounded souls may be healed and broken hearts may be mended. There is no burden that he cannot ease or remove. He knows about our infirmities and sicknesses. I promise and testify to you that when all doors seem to be closed, when everything else seems to fail, he will not fail you. Christ will help and is the way out, whether the struggle is with an addiction, depression, or something else. He knows how to succor his people. It is comforting to feel and see that he rose from the dead with healing in his wings, that because of him, we will meet and embrace again those beloved ones who have passed away. Verily, our conversion unto him is rewarded with our healing. Hosanna, blessed be the name of the Most High God. And it is my Savior that I credit my healing to. I just want to make sure that everyone knows that. That's beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing that. I know that means a lot to you. And just your journey has just inspired so many other people. So thanks again. And thanks for, thanks for watching.